All right. So, you know, practicality takes over. We've got, uh, we're at the end of an evening, a long night. These firefighters need to go to sleep. So I'm trying to do a group shot. I'm trying to do it as simply and as quickly as I can. So I'm pulled the trucks out. And I'm dragging my shutter for the interior of the firehouse. So I'm letting the firehouse kind of, again, try to light itself. And then I'm gonna bring out the big light, which is the Okta. That's an Elenchrom Okta, kind of a go-to um, studio light, really. But it travels really well. That's, it's, a, it's this great, you know, kind of luxurious light source. And it should be able to cover all six firefighters. And the beauty of the big size will be, hopefully, the wrapping effect of it will get under the helmets and fill them and light them in a really rich way so that I can get away with one light, you know, which would be a great thing. If I can do one group with one light like this, I think it's a good kind of uh, objective to have at this point in the evening where you don't want to get too complicated. So we're going to give this a try and see if we can fill them from outside and then let the rest of the firehouse just be what it's gonna be. See what happens. All right, so the thing I'm gonna to try to avoid, guys, is uh, kind of just everybody standing in a row, you know? So uh, let's get a little creative about how we're gonna place ourselves. Lieutenant, you should be up near Chief. Um, two guys. I don't know everybody's first name, so. Brandon, Brandon, Ross, Ross Jared. Ross, Jared. Hey, Bobby. That's Robert? Okay, um, all right. Robert, come on up. Right, right behind Chief here. Jarrett, come on in the, let's see. Um, Ross, you're a tall guy. I'm gonna put you down on this side here, okay? Um, all right. Chief, maybe take a half a step forward. Now, if everybody could just kind of angle themselves, like turn a shoulder in and out, that's good. Bring those shoulders in. Good, okay. All right. Gonna come a little bit lower. Do I wanna do that? No, I wanna stay up higher. Photographers, we never know exactly what we wanna do. You know, we're like folks on moving day, can't figure out where to put the couch. All right, quick test. Okay. Try without remember. Yeah, please. Yeah, let's kill that bottom light. Okay, right this way, guys. Good. Actually, it's a little bit too much light, so let's raise this puppy up. Uh, actually, let's do this first. Raise the uh, camera angle up, and also raise the octa up because the octa was lighting the ground too much. So we're letting a bulk of the light now fly past the guys and stay away from the floor. Raise the camera so I can see the fire engines better. Okay guys, same positions if you wouldn't mind. Okay, yeah, that's nicer. Um, okay, now if everybody could go towards Brandon's side here, just about a couple of feet. Just right about there. Okay, great. All right, cool. Way to go, guys. All right. All right, we're in good shape. Okay, so eyes right here, gang. Okay, nice and intense. Here we go. Looking good, looking good. Good, looking good guys, right at me. All right, gotcha. Could you stay in bunker gear for another couple of minutes? Mm -hmm. Chief, you're done though. Brandon, you're done. Okay, I'd like to get a couple of individuals of guys, okay? Just to make sure that we got that covered. Uh, let's go 70 to 200. All right. So we went from the biggest light source we got to what is now the smallest light source we got. We went from the big octa covering six guys to an individual portrait where I'm trying to not interrupt the light pattern at all. And I'm just gonna take a small amount of light and see if I can dish it into this particular firefighter's face and eyes. And for that, I'm using a Hano grid on a speed light that's zoomed to 105, SB 800. 
And come on in from camera left there, Drew. And uh, is that firing? Yep. Okay, you're gonna have to come in now. Right. Okay, you're in just a bit. Come back out. Power right now. Good. Let's see. All right. So um, cut it down to uh, one thirty second power, please. Has that got a gel on it? It does not. Okay, let's put a warming gel on it, please. Here, you can take a look at this. This is where we're going with this. Um, as you can see, I'm using the lights of the truck. That's all ambient light except right there. Okay, so the grid is doing that, but I'm feeling it's a, even still a little too broad and a little too white light. So now we're gonna go with a little bit of a warm tone. All right, here we go. You want to start it up? Yeah. Start it up. Not far. Back up? Yep, it did. Okay, pull back just a hair. Okay, good. All right, go to the um, one stop up. to the uh, truck. So, let's see. Ross? Okay. Um, I'm gonna ask you to do something for me. I'm gonna ask you to kneel down so I can get that those red lights right behind your helmet. Okay? And face that way. Okay, good. That way? Yep, right there. Now, Drew, come in from this side, right into his eyes. Got to get much tighter, Drew. 